All right, we are at a rest stop somewhere between Dillon and Missoula. Isn't this a gorgeous view? I just love that view. All right. I'm gonna get back on the freeway and keep driving. Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Marielle. And this is another RV park in impressions. Okay, the first thing is I should have been doing this all along. Uh, the internet setup in regards to my own internet. I have my own internet. And I should have been doing this before is doing a speed test on it. Here is the speed test for Jim and Mary's RV park in Missoula. I don't even know where we are. Missoula, Montana. <laughs> okay, download is 40 megabytes. Uploads is 0.25 megabytes. So essentially I will not be uploading any videos <laughs> at all. There are, there's no upload. Okay, the daily rate is 46.96 minus the Good Sam discount of four dollars and seventy cents let's see tax oh there's a lodging tax of 296 so total for one night is 45.22 that's as of uh, July 1st 2019 my first impressions of this park is that it's adorable I am surrounded by trees in fact when I pulled in I had to to watch both sides for trees. It's really nice and you go outside, all you smell is pine. Now in here, you hear no traffic noise. However, when you go outside, you do hear traffic noise coming from the 15 freeway. So we're gonna walk around and show you the park a little bit. All right, come along. At space D3, I have water and 50 amp hooked up and look how spacious this is until you get to the next space. Lots of green space in between the two, between each RV. It's really nice and look at all these trees. There are trees everywhere. Okay, that is what I mean by the freeway noise. Can you hear it? That's the 15 freeway. So as long as you're not out here, it's okay. For one night, I would have to say this is a yes. I have my own facilities, but she does have laundry in that building. restrooms and restrooms in another building oh wow this is nice and clean here's a shower area with a bench looks like there's three of them <laughs> Look at this, more plants. Just so pretty. 
And look how big the spaces are between the two. They're not jam-packed in here. So yes, I would stay here again. See, look, and it's not even dirt. See, this is this is paved, and then this is pounded in uh, gravel stuff. The only thing is the traffic noise. Oh, look, they have a wind, wind thing, wind chime, or the wind sculptures. Really nice. Well, here we are, back home. Time for a nap. Right here. We are again at space D3 and I only set up water and electrical. Would I stay here again? It's a yes. However, this particular space I don't like it because let me show you as soon as I stepped out of the door this morning this was all mud this is mud not happy about that the sprinkler system and it, mud become dirt becomes mud I don't like that they need to put down more of this pea gravel stuff Again, I'm not camping. I'm RVing. <laughs> I, I don't want dirt underneath my shoes and I don't want to be tracking in dirt and mud into my, into Wanda. Okay, so I'm going to recommend to them that they lay down more of the pea gravel. Other than that, what, uh, oh, the other thing, at 3.30 last night, a train whistle blew and trains started running around 3.30 and didn't stop until about 5. It's not the park's fault. The park itself is lovely. However, just be expected to wake up around 3.30 to the sound of trains. Didn't care for that either. So, I have been awake, half asleep, half awake. Twilight, I guess that's what they call it since four o'clock this morning so I'm a little bit drowsy uh, let's see oh I got a YouTube message from one of my viewers they are they have their own vlog which is free and simple they bought an Airstream and they have two episodes and have more subscribers than I do however <laughs> Since I'm doing how to globe trot or airstream they did ask me what kind of Berkey I have and where I place it so this is why I'm doing this particular segment of this episode here so this is the Berkey itself it's a travel Berkey it holds one and a half gallon but I only put a gallon in in here the bottom part and it measures 18 inches 19 including the handle and it does not take up that much room in the counter so i put it in this side of the counter this side of the counter is the ice maker and i can actually fit my yeti cup underneath it when i drop it down in the sink and get water so this is where I have it in the kitchen area what do I do with this when we're traveling let me show you the ice maker goes right here how I keep banging my head and the Berkey sits right here 
and I turn the nozzle sideways. Let me show you why I turn it sideways in a bit, in a moment. I get a towel, I wrap it around the Berkey, the bottom part, and also the spigot. I open up the towel a little bit, creating a pocket inside. And that is where the orchid goes. The orchid unfortunately is dying, which is fine. Orchids for me, they last about three to four months. You get a beautiful flower for 20 bucks for three to four months. It's This is the best deals that you can do when you go to supermarkets and they have orchids all the time and you want to get flowers don't get those those flowers that's gonna wilt roses they wilt in a week get orchids they're almost they're the same price as roses and they will last you three to four months and then when you're done with it just throw the whole thing out oh and this it's right there okay that's what we do for the kitchen stuff oh you notice the paper towel paper towel holder is back here I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond it's got this rubber cushion underneath it <laughs> for some odd reason this rubber cushion is enough to not make it move or sway it just sits there on the camera it does it's I've been traveling a thousand miles already from Las Vegas to Missoula and that thing has not moved or fallen all over it's wonderful all right thank you for watching this RV park impressions bye